Ladies and gentlemen, a very special good afternoon to you. We're here live coming to you from Pinnacle, the land of Leonard P. Owell. I'm here with Maxine Stowe. She's the chairperson to the Millennium Council. And of course, I'm here with Empress Jessica Mbangini, all the way from South Africa. She's also here with a few friends that she's going to introduce later on. But now, Empress Jessica Mbangini, this is Empress Maxine Stowe of the Millennium Council. Empress, greetings. Let's it love. Thank you for having us here. It's a great honor for me. I saw the honor is mine. Bless it love. And also you're going to make the necessary introduction because I don't want to mispronounce the name, ladies and gentlemen. So, Empress Jessica, do the honors. This is Empress Sbongile Kumano. Uh -huh. She will introduce the rest of the family. And you? Yes. Speak loudly. Sbongile Kumalo, and this is Bongani Kumalo, my husband. And this is Anele Kumalo and Ceci Kumalo. Okay, so we're here today to visit Pinnacle. What is the purpose of this actual uh, visit, Sister Maxine Stowe? Well, it was for us to be able to greet mm -hmm. Empress and introduce her to the pinnacle of the Rastafari faith and um, just to communicate and reason and see what comes out of the universe accordingly together. okay we're also here with community um, leader Razzle Dazzle yeah, yeah. so Razzle this is his first time here ladies and gentlemen yeah, so yeah. it is also an honor what do you want to say being your first time here um, I always want to come here, you know, to see what the Rastafari is doing pertaining to the culture and the people of Jamaica. So, I'm glad to be here and I can put in my input and we say it's time now for we join with the ancestors and the children from South Africa to get this thing going uh, for the ground. Thank you very Bless much. Yeah. That's it Rastafari, just greet it real quickly yeah. to the camera. State yeah, your this name. Is, um, Brother Constant. He's uh -huh. a caretaker here okay. at the Nyabingi uh, Spanish Town House and he's a caretaker of the, the, premises. Of the premises and the ta tabernacle. I want to see you. Well, I like you here keeping this place by our own world, and I and I come here. I have to do all the work to really come back and make the work that the team works with the draft of power and come forward. So I know I will go to all the tradition. It's a long story to talk, but we have to really work and since last year I work I'm going on. So I know I've never been the worker. And I know I said, well, years to be in the never been the work because you so if Leonard people there was speaking about Iris last year the first and here the founding father so and I come and I take charge and start to make the place work that every roster can come and feel all right as the roster for right. that's what that's that what Sam was doing at the first time thank you thank you my name is Constance I'm sorry thank you I'm my brother Ron, you know. A representative, uh, the advocate of the Rastafari family. Blessed love. Adios. And um, Patrick Kwame, Romance, you know, working out of the Fletcher's Land community. You know, and we really appreciate the Africans' presence here because this is what we needed all the time, you know, just to get close community wise. And I heard Jessica said, tell us, told us something about community and that is where it starts right now for us so we are collaborating with you know all of these angels and sisters you know to meet one objective that is to, for the solution of our nation and that's what, what that's what we are on okay. thank you very much well here we are you want to lead with jessica and of course we follow you sister maxine
Exceeding joy and gladness to our only true and wise King of Kings, Creator, Savior, Protector, and Redeemer. To Him be glory, dominion, honor, and majesty be unto from this time forth, henceforth, and forever. Rust of our high, first and forever. Give thanks and praise. So I want to thank the High Priest, I, I. It is a great honor for me to be here this afternoon and pay the tribute to our great ancestors. The giants of the the giants whose shoulders we are standing on today. Those who have made us to understand that we are the prophets of the times. Those who came before us so that they can pave the way for us. Those who have linked our lives and balanced it. Those who, who protected us from the commotion and the propaganda, but who put us on the way, the righteous way of guidance through God's divinity. Those who have brought peace and love, unity, so that today we can be the ones who are leading and paving the way. It's a great honor for me. It's a great honor for me. That's the power I give the word and bring us forth and after and forth. We give thanks to the Today I see the light. Today I'm informed. Today I see us having a duty to teach these generations today about our own religion, about our own culture. It is our duty to instill 
the sense of customs to our children. So that the, the purpose can be served. I give thanks. I give thanks. I give thanks. I give thanks. I give praise. I give praise. Let us remember the purpose, the prophetic purpose of our great Marcus Gavi. Let us remember the wealth of our continent. Definitely the green, the yellow, the gold. Let us remember where we come from. Let us remember our divinity, the ownership of who we are. Africa, yes, Africa. is everywhere in the world. Let us remember the words of Haile Selassie I, right. saying, telling us, teaching us that we should resolve our issues in Jamaica before we cross back the Caribbean, island, the Caribbean Sea to Africa. To Africa. Must be one. Let us one remember family. to unite Africa. Only the united Africa can be able to bring the African unity. The united Africa is about the united Africans. But if we are Africans, we are not Africa. We can. That means all the generations can. But let us be the Africa that we are. Africa is united. Africa is full of love. Africa has got no no color. Africa is humane. The Africa that we are. Africa. The blood of those who have worked, who have walked the way before us, who have fought for the for the liberation of who we are today, those who have fought for our rights on our commodities. Let us all remember that is our heritage. It's not part of us, it's who we are. Heritage is equal to inheritance. Therefore, we are the ones today that the whole generations in the whole world need to inherit from us. We need to write as the, as the writings of the Greeks that we have learned from. We need to document, we need to share the information share the heritage, share the soul of Africa, the truth to our children and amongst ourselves. Let us unite so that this blood can always speak for us, can always speak around us, can always speak amongst us, can always breathe the truth amongst us. The color that we were discriminated against. That the world has discriminated against. Yeah. But the world is what it is today. Atu zisu jamagas chatu ngulia kwa mpeki. Inta mene kwa liyo kaka ilu ngu vya kwa matiba. Umalale chongile msakta makusha kumilonde kaya. Ela ngangatil makaka kagela kumamankoba. 
Lamakobang and Chunchen and Gongo Mephas and Achatilisum Lamato and Akashan. said, We are the ones who have made it possible for the world to trade in gold, in diamonds, and the food our stomachs still yearn. Today, the world is Africa. Yes, I am. The wealth of our land yes. is in the hands of those, of these who are still given a chance to live. Let's take ownership. Let's stand for what we know. Let's stand for what we believe in. Let's stand for what belongs to us. And let's stand for what is ours. We need no food, but water. The fruit from the trees, from the natural trees of our fertile land. The natural vegetation from the land of our great ancestors. Remember, remember, we still owe our being to the koi and the sand, whose desolate souls haunt the great, expansive, beautiful Cape. They who were the first to lose their lives in the struggle defending our freedom and identity. They who, who are the victims of the worst merciless genocide our native land has ever seen. They who, as the people perished in the result. Today, we still keep in audible and audible silence about these ancestors of the great generations that yes, live. Yeah. Fearful to admit the horror of the former deed and that's still happening in our lives. Osha. Yay. Seeking to obliterate from a memory a cruel occurrence which in its remembering should teach us not. 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 And never be in human again. Let's take care of our environment. Let's take care of our land issues. Let us bring back African unity. The land belongs to us. The land belongs to Africa. Where there's a drop of blood of an African, where there's a drop of the soul of an African, that land belongs. That land is a better, it's a better land because of us. Africa. Africa. Fertility. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Si 
sikeleli Afrika Manu pagani su pandalwa yo Iswa imita Love at the gate of Zion more than all the dwelling places of Jacob. Glorious things have been spoken of thee, O city of God, Sila. And I will make mention of Ethiopia, Seba. Since all those precious in our sight has been honorable. Therefore, give thanks and praise unto the name of the Most High, Jah, Rastafari, this good and enjoyed forever. Give thanks. Um, so this is Russ Kremlin, and he's going to introduce it to the rest of the members of the house that are here. Blessed love. Raskirk. Blessed love. Blessed love. And these bridges are from the Spanish zone. Who supplied it? Blessed love. General. Mm. General of the Itar. Ah, oh, yeah. was cancer. Yeah, man. Blessed love, my brother. And here, 
There's our general secretary of the Rastafari Millennium Council, Prophet Greg Bobo Shanti. Blessed love. Blessed love, my brother. We're good, we're good. It's an honor to meet, you know, um, dignitaries from the continent, because this is what the emperor had always wanted to see, this coming together, not only in culture, but in to, to regenerate the energy of Africa amongst I and I, as how colonialism had severed that umbilical cord between family of Africa. So it is always good and pleasant to greet, as the psalm say, we all hold good and pleasant is for brother and sister to dwell in unity and love. So we need that coming together again to rejuvenate that love, that spirit of oneness of Africa. So it is always a pleasure greeting dignitaries out of Africa, especially in South Africa going forward from the black populace to hold the strength of the culture, you know. So we give thanks. Give thanks. Blessed love. This is Priest Brown. Blessed love. From the Bobo Shanti also. This is Priest Brown from the Bobo Shanti. And he's also with the Brasafara and Melanum Council. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm blessed to meet you, my brother. It's an royal empress. It's been a royal policy in jail. Mm -hmm. I've been to my name. And also advocate for the Rastafari movement, for the liberation of our people. And has presently brethren and sisters living within your area of the continent. It's a great pleasure because I always look forward to our coming together for the upliftment and the future security of our people. Yeah. Yeah, my love. Blessed love, my brother. Love. Let it be and so be it. Um, it shall be done. Yeah, my Sister Maxine, um, before we explore our little era here, there is some refreshment and food. And I'm the, hungry. Yes, <laughs> and these brethren, these brethren here been cooking from morning and I know them don't eat. So yes. I'm hungry. Yes. So I would just love to lead you people to the kitchen where we can get something to eat. Mm -hmm. Brother Ayai. Yeah. Yeah. Brother Ayai. Yeah. 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 Brother Ayai. Brother Ayai. Brother Ayai. Brother Ayai. Brother Ayai. Some kind of spiritual way. Yes, sir. And I feel like it's it now. Yes, sir. You know, and the movement is coming like a year so it has to start. Yes. Right? Yes, and we get a message. And the world will be used now. Next month. Because I don't know if the rest of them prepare. To deal with Rastamont yeah. and the word them we have to, we have to use right on what the yeah. father give it a detoxify. That's right. We have to detoxify the whole of the Rasta them because tears run out of me a while ago when I toured the place. A Leonard Owen, I so much Rasta get rich, yes. I have so much wealth. Yes. The earth is a lot and the fullness thereof, and none of them not provide back nothing to the earth. Right, you know, see it. So we have to start denounce them and detoxify some of them. Thanks, my brother. You know, see it? We have to start detoxify our community of bad vibes and bad influence. You know, see it? We have to start going there and talk to the youth that we usually do one time. And make up some little areas where youth can come there and learn different things. We have to detoxify the drinks and the food them when they are feed with. By planting and growing our own things. You know, see it? You have to start detoxifying. All hands on board right now to detoxify Jamaica. No itching. That's right. Right? You have to start detoxifying the school and the youth, them. You have to demonic music, the cartel and them friend them. I run. You have to start going to the school, them now, and start giving them back some Bob Marley, some Dennis Brown. Create our own image. Rasta have too much wealth worldwide and don't want to unite. Remember when I come out, you know, at Tibali Gyan from the incursion, you know, and I believe so Rasta out there do well, you know. And I say, well, then what? You can't change the spirit of a Rasta man. No care what kind of chick them are come with and where them are come with. The father don't tell you, say, you know, you can't change the spirit of a Rasta man. So accept it and go through because we have to still go on with the message. Them can't change your heart, so no matter where the man come with. No turning back. No. And no fear, because I never know so rest of the fear. This imperial majesty selected 
appointed, are dealing and protected those that easily so no my, turning back. So when you hear some of them every time, they say, Selassie I, Selassie I. When the man set down for do, you do it, unite. And all, no one can unite. So every time you go somewhere, man, Selassie I, Selassie I. And them gone back, then them could shame with them wealth and this and that. Who are you? So set up as a healing center. What do you call that sound? Indeed, a bomb yard. What? A bomb People yard. from all over the world to come here. Yeah. All right, Come get brother. healing. All right, my brother. So, my brother. So, blessed detoxify. Yes, I man give thanks to the eye. I say I know. detoxify. Because I start it don't tell you. I'm over. I know that we link with Tiba the same way. Because we are always with the eye. That's what I'm talking about. Detoxify movement. But you're what now? Them bridging at home. Yeah, man. I know. I know. I that want, go on. The visa them get some. Something. All right. Fall in, my liar. Yeah, Fall in. Fall in. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, as we continue the journey with Jessica Mbangini, of course, Maxine Stowe, Prophet Greg, the elders of Rastafari. Razzle Dazzle, all the way from Tibble Gardens. We here. The journey continues with Jessica at Pinnacle, the land that Leonard P. Owell bought for the people. The journey continues. Um, this is Brother Juice from the Spanish show known of Naya Bingi. And he's going to just give us a little brief and his idea where Pinnacle is concerned. Well, from a little boy, from a little boy, just. Young youth growing up. I learn about Gang Power. Gang Power was the first man who bring Rastafari impression, vibration to Jamaica. He was invited to Ethiopia by His Imperial Majesty to a function. So he went there and he came back here and he raises the vibration of Rastafari among the Jamaican and among the Jamaican people in general. Yes, and, and it grew, it grew, the, the, the vibration grew so strong that Rastafari discovered Jamaica. Understand, it's over Jamaica, take over Jamaica no one. We are on top of all things. It is just the vibration of the money and the, 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 the material source is a problem and to I and I. But the love for the people, the generosity and the vibration of all children and everyone, we are fully loved by the people as well. Jamaican people even Trinidad and those places. We find love in those people as well. Because I went to Trinidad and I find love within the people then. Just as I come off the plane, I Rastaman just sight I and come and they, you know, embrace I and giving thanks to Rastafari, not personal me, the Celestia. Because he, he lived through I and I. I and I lived through him. His Imperial Majesty. So it is a privilege, great privilege for I and I 
who were slaves who came to Jamaica a year now and find the possibility of a free mind and a loving vibration towards all people. We love all nations. Chinese, Indians, Caucasian, it no matter as long as you are human. We love everything that is life, life in general. We try to keep life living in all aspects. And um, this place here now, talking about this place, it is a well vibrated piece of earth right, right up here. When I came here, when I grew up big and understand up here and came up here, I don't want to leave up here. And many other brethren speak the same way. They don't want to leave here. The vibration is so strong and so I, I can't find the word to, um, to talk. But it, it is so airy that when night comes, you don't want to go home. When daylight, you don't want to go home. It is a, a, a vacuum like, you know, take you in and you feel that vibration and you never want to leave the field. If my brother Kurt, you know what I mean? Kurt Vine is here. He left. When, when, this is my little brother from down. I was living year to year, just down Spanish town, before you reach the Spanish town hospital. We're living close by. I think I'm um, friendly lived in here instead of up here. Yeah. And my brethren, when, when we came up here, you don't want to go down, you want to stay and sleep up here. You understand? But sometimes, you know, you, you, the vibration is so strong that you, you have to just hold it still and you know, say, well, you have a little thing down there so you can't leave it too long because of other ones, you understand? So you just go forward down and bear this struggle, uh, 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 I mean this struggle like you want to stay but you still have to leave. And I find it well, well, well highly. Well, well highly. And so much to say that I can say everything and I give thanks to Rastafari for the privilege. Yeah. This brethren. This brethren is a brethren who who direct me to this Naya Bingi in Spanish town that was before 90, before um, 96, 96, 96, yeah, yes, he introduces me to the Naya Bingi Ada, but I was yet a Rastafarian before that still, you understand? So the, 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 the family vacuum my in and I feel I be about it. So we're going to keep it this way and give thanks and praises. Yeah, and I give thanks and praises for everything and for seeing African data so close that I even touch her. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I can't find the word again. <laughs> It is really high, you know. I give thanks to the brethren and yes, each and everyone. Oh, yes, yeah. give thanks. Yeah, yes, the Father. Yes, the Lord. Yes, the Lord. Yes, the Lord. Yes, the Lord. Yes, Thank you. Well, at, well, at, at this time now, Brother Stone, I'm going to um, call him Brother Prophet Greg. Come in, General, Prophet Sec Greg. General Secretary of the Rastafari and Millennium Council. Okay, I know he can give us a little 10 minutes and Leonard P. Orwell. So, Prophet Greg. Yes, where are they? Give thanks. You have time to speak? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Chair, no? Oh, we have seating in the chair. Mm -hmm. Put the bag in, bag in the chair. chair. Oh, 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 so what do you mean? Yeah, yeah. We do give thanks for the gathering as usual. You don't know when one, one, one and two and three is gathered in his Imperial Majesty's name, you know. Jai is always in the midst of I and I. So it's all about the mission, it's all about the journey within Rastafari and the movement of Rastafari. So we say greetings and blessed in the name of his Imperial Majesty Emperor Haile Selassie I, the first Emperor spinning as a balance. Leonard P. Howell, as we all have that history to, to cherish, is, is one of the four 
fathers and the forerunners within the Rastafari movement. He was firstly trading as a Garveyite, as a prominent Garveyite, strong in the field for back to Africa. When Marcus Garvey, as the strong leader he is, during the time of the re redemption and the liberation of the struggle, actually point to the director of, of the emperor, yeah. telling his followers that, that they must look forward to a crowning of an of a individual and monarch. At that time, they would know that the black liberation is going to be very, very close. So that manifestation of the coronation of his imperial majesty, November 2nd, 1930, actually energized and, and generated that sort of activism for the first real movement in the Rastafari faith. When you had four prominent elders, Leonard P. Howell, Archibald Dunkley, Robert Hine, you know, as, as, as one of the chief, and, and I think um, the, the, the other one was um, Hibbert. Joseph Hibbert. Those were the early ones them who actually within themselves formed different mansions as I said organization rising. But Leonard P. Owen, his was more organized, structured and more effective in bringing the first residue of the Rastafari commune. And so it is from St. Thomas from the tradition up into Pinnacle which is the first free village now. He gathered the first Rastafari and, and they began known as the Howellites, taking on, as they said, Leonard P. Howell and the Howellites. So his tradition as how he, he moved within his, his coming together, he actually used an ancient African tradition, uh, as they know, Kumina, to really use the, the same concept of bringing the, the African consciousness to the people, invoking um, the teachings of Marcus Garvey, but at this point of time, even applying now biblical passages where the fulfillment of prophecy is concerning, because many start to search the scriptures at the coronation. So a lot of ones now start to use Isaiah 9 when unto us a son is born, you know, the government is going to be. These sort of passages now cement now the faith to, to take shape and mold itself into what has developed to where we are now. So Leonard P. Howe was a really starch warrior within this development of the faith, um, fighting off the same colonialism because I want to tell you, say, it is because of his consistency that there were directives given in the 1930s from the colonial government that they must destroy Rastafari. So Rastafari never existed at the time of Garvey, you know, but yet still because of the, 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 the energy and, and the force what Leonard P. Howell rose with, with the, the teachings of Rastafari, you know, coming from Garveyism but more strong within a spiritual conviction now. The governments now from the, from the 30s now began to warn of the coming of this Rastafari rising. So there was a directive given from that time to even now to ensure the Rastafari don't become a strong force within, within the movement of black liberation. So it was these activism that really laid the foundation and helped lay the foundation of the Rastafari movement. So with such, you know, I can leave that legacy, which is what we are doing now in restoring, because it is 1954, because of this persecution and the um, directive given, 1954 was when the police finally came through and invaded Pinnacle and dismantled and dispersed the Howellites. The final dispersion was in 1957. So that was the last vestige of the Howellites occupation at Pinnacle. The last invasion by the police force, as all them call themselves, was 1957. So it, it was because of the works of ancients like, like Ras Kremlin now, want to revive that heritage as how we said because we move it to say we want back a recognition of Rastafari where the heritage was from that time to link it to where we are now because that is what we are pushing the African heritage although we are out we are, we are still living the connection of, of back to Africa started from Marcus Garvey and the Garvey, Garvey lives in movement 
So this is where Rastafara has transcended now into the Naya Bingi order because that order came right after 57, 1958 was the first public display of the Naya Bingi order, taking another African order coming out of Africa, which is what is surviving today that shaped Rastafari into how we are, were robe and turban, locks and all them descriptors predate colonialism. So we're going right into ancients, you know. You know, so we give thanks for the forerunner and the forefather Leonard P. Hour for the works that he does in holding strong the foundation that even the, the Babylon saw it now as a new faith becoming a threat to their established entity. You know, because we burn out the, the Protestant, it became a black consciousness, a black liberated within spirituality. Because they already attacked them us politically, they attacked us economically by destroying the UNIA. So it was left to the spiritual that kept that liberation spirit because whereas them can touch the, the, the tangible they could not touch the intangible of the spirit so that is what how we revived and came forth and burned this culture within the faith and from the faith uh, so give thanks, we do uh, give thanks for the Greg. moment again yes and um, right now we see as 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 we are there are quite a bit one and two of the great mansions are here we have a virgin dead man we have a 12 tribe of israel we still have other bridges and our very important bridge you know. Razzle Dazzle. I still want to remember now the time is going, so we can come give five minutes. You know? Yes, this is the African. We can talk like about the African. And we can talk about what you want. Well, uh, what I really want to say, yeah. in our father's so, house, there are many mansions. In our father's house. And one of the mansions, the 12 tribes of Israel, I came to the faith through the 12 tribes of Israel. Yeah. Now you're being the other, Bobo Shanti, yeah. there were Saddam mansions. But I, I, I've come to realize that it all started at Pinochet with, um, with a Leonard Howe. And one of his main crimes to Jamaica was when he stated that that man in England is not your king. Your king is the man who is crowned in the emperor in Ethiopia. Well, they charged him for sedition, sent him to prison and all manner of things. I also got to realize that when they actually came here in 1954, was the year I was born. And since coming, I, I find a close attachment to Pinacle. And just as you were saying, the unity of all the people who desire to go to Africa, but that is the main aim of Rastafari people. And for that, we welcome all from South Africa and look forward to coming to that side. Yes, give thanks. Give thanks. The bridge is from the 12th tribe. Yeah, but that's it. Now, now, Razzle Dazzle, you know, is a bridge in where in 15 Rasta way politically is a, is a, is a, I would say, is a link in the chain where black people rights and concern in Jamaica and play a significant role, right? And I want to give him a little five minutes. Yeah. We thank the, pre the, the Empress from South Africa to be here in Jamaica and I introduce her already to Tivoli Garden. And I said, well then, downtown, down a yard, look at your culture yard, you have in a yard. Well, down a yard now, who open up them arms to South Africa at any time, Tivoli Garden. So we want a tourism and a link pertaining to down a yard and when I come here and see where my bridging I deal with the pinnacle because I, I always hear about pinnacle and I really didn't want to come here become switch by Rastafari I start and become see the elders them they are I hold it well now some of me I said detoxify some of the Rasta them will get gain wealth through the name we take on to itself flesh. We start put back something to the earth and respect the money for all the order and all the place. 
some want some kind of donation or something go to the Millennium Council pertaining to Leonard Owell's structure to get it up back and running as a tourism sector and as a healing process area where people can come from all about herbal thing you can't get your massage you can't get any kind of roots or something pertaining to your sickness so I'm glad to be here and I said tears run out of my eyes because I go up on the top and I say the man vision is a vision like I see my vision and I hold it for other people like you that see your own vision and if you see well then say you know some of them rest man them just drop arms just get wealthy over it and them man are hold it so come and get together and unite the man in the name of Selassie I because that him say no Selassie I Rastafari is imperial majesty I I say Rastafari bless him at this time well at this time I want to introduce a sister who is so dedicated, a sister who is an international consultant to Rastafari and also the general secretary of the Royal Human this, this sister is undescribable. I, 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 I really should describe her. You will see, you see who she is when she speaks. So at this time I welcome Sister Maxie. Well, I'm, I want to greet again the Empress, Jessica, but I'm inspired to communicate that since 2015, we entered into a bilateral agreement with South Africa, um, where Jamaica has since 2013. But since the criminalization of ganja, um, we were able to use that bilateral agreement with South Africa to start a conversation or a, or a project um, that linked the indigenous people of South Africa with the indigenous people of Jamaica. So that bilateral agreement has been going on now for since 2015. It should be coming into fruition now. However, we have been struggled by the system because it was because a cistern within the bilateral was a Naya Bingi from South Africa. So she pushed the program and allowed us to connect. But in connecting, it's like the, the system has still struggled us from really moving as fast or as um as uh, deep as we expected. So one of my inspirations in having you, you know, to know that you're here is to really make that link, you know, and give you that understanding that you can lobby to your peers that the whatever was started needed needs to be continued. You know what I mean? Because you, your journey has taken you through all of our indigenous spaces. Big Stone, I noticed on his YouTube that you have been to every significant or the majority of the significant spaces that relate to our indigenous communities, whether it's Maroon, whether it's Kumina, whether it's, you know, Revival. And now today it was, you know, fortuitous that you would come to the Rastafari community. So I'm, I'm through my communications making you aware of this and making you aware that in your representations to your own government and society that you put an energy to make that connection that has been made let it be fulfilled because right now it's it's being stalled through pol politicality you know so i think that you your visit here is i think in march mm -hmm. The Minister of um, Science and Technology is supposed to be coming here and they are trying to restart the workshop process again that we have already been through three years. We set up a company here, we registered a company in South Africa, 
we created a, a public relations campaign with a South African company. We have done so much work. And instead they want to come and say, oh, we want to look at everything again because they don't want that force to be connected, you know? So I said I'm using this opportunity to inform you that a major project is going on between the two countries. And if you are here um, in the next week or so in March, you will be in contact with, um, you know, through the High Commission with this um, minister. And I think it's important that you connect with that minister about your journey that you have been on here. However it comes out of you, it will come out of you. But it's just important for her to know that it's not just in their level that the people have connected. And so they should do the right thing. All right, so that's my message. Definitely, I'll uh, be in touch with you yes. so that we can talk further. Right. And Sorry, no? Okay. At this time, our priest from the Bobo Shanti, Chris Brown, we have a few blessings. Glory and honor, Domina and Power, be unto the Imperial Majesty, the Alpha and Amigo, the Father and Mother of Creation. And I give thanks to the royal gathering, you know. Of the blessed of the most high, you know, that I and I can start this day. Upon the first free Rastafari village that was ever established, you know, here in Jamaica, you know. And I give thanks and welcome and I sister Jessica and her family from the Royal Continent, you know. Bringing such a union of, you know, those of home and us abroad together, you know. So I and I, you know, moment is so, you know, ask His Majesty's blessing upon this royal gathering, you know, and let this light continually shine, you know, perpetually, that the glory of Ethiopia shall reign from, you know, age to age most glorious. All blessing and all bless. Out of love. Yes, at this time, my brethren, one of the youngest, one of us, a youth where have a vibes where I am gonna have to respect him. You know, he's really the youngest one up here. <laughs> and he never give up up here. Yeah. And him always speak of up here. Kremlin, anywhere him see me. Kremlin, Pinnacle. I want to be a brother Kurt. A brother Kurt for so as the youngest star in Shell. Let's say that. Strength and honor. Best of everything. And I always have to give thanks, you know. Yeah, I always want to feel like a black man most of them. Yeah, one of them to strength up black consciousness and everything. You know what I mean? Black consciousness and high foundation and all the weed and the stuff. Catch pants up. You know, within myself, you know. I always look, you know, within the black consciousness. And also, I've gone away and all them great move and work when I'm doing them things. I'm here about and all them things. You know? And Rastafari, I was the Almighty, and I will give her any health and strength, and I look to be it. And all. So, you know, within I feel and I can trust me, you know, so well, then I'd have to be here. You know, black or black, black can trust me, see one more step, and all. oh, you'll you know, see it. You know, see it. So, you know, the only I hear the ones, them, even my granny, them, and them, and they say, Grandma you know, will. That man who was a kind of spiritual man and all them things there, you know? And spiritualness I and you know, I part that consciousness. So the matter about all something we have him cough them come through with all man asks Mr. Brown and all them things there and all them they just like what they talk so you know, you know, as a youth I grew up and say, you know, what I say, you know, within that black consciousness and that faith, you know them way there. Yeah, so I just rest up and I love to put it And I observe the goodness of our them time. Yeah. Even when my granny them I say it's a man who feed prisoners for years and all them things. Yeah. You know? So how will I? You know them way there? I'm selling herbal in a Spanish town market and all them things. Yeah. Because I look for you when I hear them things. Yeah. You know, so they let me come within the black consciousness. Yeah. You know? Well, the black people. Yeah.
I just, that's all I have to say, otherwise I just want black love, you know. From here to Africa, you know, black people are just black love, you know. Rastafari, straight up. That's yes, the yes, yes. yes, sir, man, give thanks to the young crowd, you know. The youth, man, sure, you know. I'm one of the empowering because of how he's dealing with it. You can always call upon him. And he's come, you know. He's not deal. Liar, sir. Liar. Well, at this time, you know, kind of my islands look, my islands look like it kind of run out. Okay. You know what I mean? But me, I really like to say, me, I really like to call upon daughter Jessica, you know. For, yes. To say something Duh. in concern of all what she been hearing. Yeah. Because I'm on personally. Is he, when I look at the African, you know. So I say Africa. Yeah, just yeah. looking at Africa. <laughs> yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? So I say Mama Africa. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. even yeah. one of my names is Africa Loving. Yeah. Ross Kremlin, Africa Loving. Yeah. So I, I want to hear Africa officer as Mama Jessica. Yeah. Give thanks, yeah. Sister Jessica. Just put me in the spotlight. <laughs> I'm shy. I'm shy by nature. But uh, the spirit has um, guided me. The spirit has led me to this place. The power of divinity, the power of God has sent me. I have answered the calling for me to be where I am. If it would be by my own character choice, definitely, and look at my background, I would say no, not me. But because I have found my peoples, I am following my peoples. My visit here at this pinnacle has answered my questions of where our religion comes from. Where is the book of documentation that can be able to guide us and guide our children? We have managed to rise above all the indoctrinations. But what about the youth today? What about the generations to come? Because this is all oral history of Hail Selassie. Where are the books that can be available in every platform? Not only academic books for the intellectuals, intellectuals who are sitting with the perpetrators to oppress us, who, who feel that they are supreme over their own African brothers and sisters, their own very people, they should be serving. We need to dish out the information. We need to, we are the agents of change. Thank you so much for opening the doors. In my culture where I come from in Africa, we still have a challenge. You have to be known with a certain surname, you have to belong in a certain clan. You have to belong in a certain surname. There's still division, tribal divisions. There are still levels. So they would ask who is coming? Where does she come from? Is, she, who, who is the son of who? And then the doors would be closed. But you opened up because of the spirit of divinity that lives in you. And you saw the greatness that I didn't actually put in my mind. I didn't know that I would end up in here. Because I follow, I always believed that we are beyond what we are said we are, what we are named and characterized as we are. 
We are beyond that. We are divine. Hence, the divine spirit of my great ancestors, Om Kenge Ozulot Langamanda, Ozululia Zongoma. The spirit of my ancestors, Ondaba, Opatelo Chiba Songkulukon, O On Otei, the Tetango Kagaza. My great ancestors have connected me here with my brother, Claude Sinclair. Thank you for your calling. Thank you for following your calling. Because we just came together, closing the boundaries, br bridging the boundaries that, uh, that have, all, have all divided us, of which we've got a link and the line. We've got, um, uh, we've got a guide from the, our great Marcus Garvey. We've got a guide from the echoes of the voices of Bob Marley's and Dennis Brown's. Yes. We've That's got the echoes of the voices and, and, and the power of authority from the great Nguames. We've got the spear and the shield from our uh, liberation heroes and heroines. About Paul Bugle, about Samuel Sharp, about the Queen Ma Nani of the Maroons and the great Marcus Gavi and all of them, they have took on the courage to liberate us. Therefore, I'm grateful to be here and I've enjoyed the food. Actually, they tell. <laughs> <laughs> That's a priest. Aye, aye. Oh, man. Aye, aye. Thank you ever so much. It's so warm here and I'm looking forward to the developments. And uh, my, as my sister was uh, uh, talking here, um, I've known about the, uh, uh, the, the agreements that we had. I was asking myself, when am I going to meet these people? Because sometimes the formal meeting, arranged meetings, they don't put in place the vision, the agenda. The agenda. It, 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 it feels like it could just happen spontaneously, that we meet and then this, the answers, the questions are answered, and then we carry on with the vision. We take on with the same energy that, that has got a will to change. Therefore, I'm so glad to be here. Thank you ever so much. It's my great honor. And there at home in South Africa and the rest of Africa at large, they will know that there is this home. Things are hidden behind the clouds and the mountains. But now we are here to, 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 to open the ways so that we can cross over and come over and cross over and come over and celebrate our heritage. Blessed Lord. While Tim, you speak of, you speak of the books. Well, my, bro my brother, okay, that's Prophet what I was Greg. Say. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Oh, okay, okay. I, no, I didn't know, I didn't know. But at this time, sister, I accept everything what you are saying, and it's nice to embrace the African. Sometimes I have dreamed when I went to embrace an African. But no, I have did. I overcome that obstacle. It was always an obstacle. But no, I overcome it. All right, good. All right, um, ladies and gentlemen, you have just heard from all of the brethren, Ras Kremlin, Africa Love, have spoken eloquently of the vision of Leonard P. Owell, of course, Prophet Greg. But being an author that Prophet Greg is, he told me that he has to make a presentation to Empress Jessica Mungini. So without further ado, this is Prophet Greg from the Millennium Council, and he's going to make a presentation to you. Uh, he's an author, so you're going to see what you're going to get. Yes. Come on, give thanks and praise again. Blessed Name. Empress Jessica. Um, I'm, I'm yet to pronounce the last name, but let's, let's see if it's M. Bangeni. 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 Yes, you are saying it right. Ah, I give thanks. This is Acts and you shall receive. You mentioned that we need to start documenting. So within the very presentation, the spirit was already moving. Yes. So I would say on behalf of the Rastafari community, as General Secretary of the Rastafari Millennium Council, 
We always present this book at the opportunity to present the dignitaries coming from Africa. So this is the third dignitary that I am privileged to present of an African visitor to you. So I will say may this book bring forth a great joy in the faith of Rastafari messages. So from Prophet Greg. So give thanks. So on behalf of the Rastafari community, bless it for the connection between the continent and the moon. I'm honored. I'm honored, my brother. Give Thank thanks. you ever so much. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bless of love. Thank you. Now, this is the well of life. I would just say, briefly say the first places that were mentioned in the Bible mm -hmm. are Africa, Eden, the Garden of Eden, Kush, Ethiopia, Arabia the first generation. So the original biblical culture had to be Afrocentric. Wow. And how is it Europe has become so presumptuous in spiritual matters mm. when we are the first? Mm. Blessed love. Blessed love, my brother. Wow. This is the well of life. I will definitely drink. And share it. And share it. Ooh, and uh, I see these books and many more of them being available to our schools, to our children, to our families. This should be not just a coffee table book, but the book of the soul. Blessed love. Ah, Hey, I'm getting sort of jealous. I need a hug. You give me a pat in the back at the embassy. Yes. Yeah, when we came up there, you gave me a pat in the back, like you were saying, a blessing. Yeah. And I was walking off when I carried your suitcase up. Yes. And I was walking off, going back to the car with Big Stone. You said to me, you said just pat me in my back. Yeah. And I felt it up to today. So oh. I need a refreshing. <laughs> Brother, thank you so much. One more thing, brother Stone. Yeah. I have something here. Yeah. And this is a melon from Pinnacle. Plant hey, farmer, come, come, I call if I talk I yet with something else, you know. Me, 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 you don't talk already. I'm going to call you, 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 you. This is a melon. Mm. We're going to cut up. Mm. Because it grows here. Mm. And we want everybody to get a taste of it. So uh, you who no, no, take no, care of it. No, you, no, you <laughs> hand it over. You hand it oh. over to I I. Oh yeah. I I. Yeah. So keep this in the keep this on the camera for my brother Stone. I I. Yeah. I yeah. want to show up this way. Yes, and we Yes, give thanks. It's this is a melon, you know. Mm -hmm. That's just produced right here. On the pinnacle. Um plantation. Africa though. Yes, this melon. By Ras Constant, the farmer. See? So, this is for the brethren and the sisters to cut as digest. Huh? Give thanks. Give thanks, my brother. Yes. Thank you ever so much. Let me hold it before we eat it. <laughs> Bless it. I'm holding a Bless dessert. It. Bless yes. it. Ooh. <laughs> no, watermelon is, uh, is my favorite. Yes. So, when it's organic, and it's natural. You want to cut it for a bit of a knife, my child. I want you to take it when it's cutting over here. Okay. Yes, I I. A blessing first. Yeah. I I. What blessings will I put on them? What is the money? Yes, sir. Are the first two tougher? Yeah. And I'm better safe than you know. Yes, give it up to them. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Actually, the first uh, melon we get this size up to today, and we intend to share this with our family and our special, special. Not that she's more special than our sister Maxine, because you know what I mean. Yeah. Sister Maxine have been doing some serious work, and I have to mention I hear Bob Marley name call, but I have to call the Whalers, and when I say the Whalers, I say. Bunny Whalers, as one of the biggest contributor to us here in Pinnacle, right? I also heal Brother Peter Touch, and I also heal Bob Marley. But there was not Bob Whalers, or there was not Touch Whalers, but there was one original Bunny Whalers. And I give thanks to our honorable chair of the Millennium Council, Brother Bunny Whalers. Give thanks. The original Jabi. The original Jabi. How many more do we have in the garden? How many more we have in the garden? Can we get some? Mm. <laughs> also the lettuce. So? I think he went back to the car. Just before we came here, maybe he's still full. Yeah, but in Begin, you are on a mission. Rasta love. There's two in here, too, similar to this one. No fertilizer, nothing. Wow. Strictly organic. Wow. You could make the presentation no less. Yeah, you could yeah, make it be formal. Yeah. Yeah, turn it down. Wow. It's really quite aroma. aroma. Mm. Mm. Wait, 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 wait. We are here now, mm. trying to build a unity mm. and a love mm. between African and our Jamaican Rasta. Mm. So, the Irish of the Most High, take me up and, this is a long story, so but show me so well. You give me a time where in camera for not evil and show me a place and ask me if you want it. And I say, but you can't want your thing, sir. Mm. And he said, I want it. Well, I said, um, I want it, but I can't. He said, so you want it? I said, I just said, give it. When I give, when he gives me to wife, the place when he gives me is higher here. So. 
and right around the whole place, you can see everything that you know to eat in fruits. You see, all right, on the high turn from the hill and fly away. And you see, I need to come up here. When I come, it was dry. Dry up here, so it was dry. Mm -hmm. And when I come, I will from last year, I was on my birthday. Mm -hmm. Until now, the rain. I have a two drum there. When I come there, I didn't have no water. And as it's last year, I didn't have no water. The shark had carried a pan of water for me. A man charged my toes in the rock carry six pounds mm. and they hide you there. And you know the Saturday night you come here. And when I come here Saturday night, I find the one drum pull. That's why one you. drum pull the next year and pull the next one. And you know so if I'm that one you don't go back on your neck, I don't take a water only that night. You pan pull all the way to the stars. Jump! Oh, Same water that water is? Uh, yeah. 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 Same story. I say, as if it's dry you now. Yeah. And when I come and start to plant, tear down the soil. I, I believe you me, I um, don't know where I get the power and strength from. Mm -hmm. All the place around here is that I tear it down. I don't know where I get it from. Put on water and put it in. Present it to her. She's you getting no, that? No, huh? no, no. This one for that one. Okay, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Right. It's my watermelon. <coughs> watermelon. watermelon. Yeah. 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 One more yeah. watermelon. We had one. One more. We went for the watermelon. Yeah, that's it. Pull off the watermelon song. The watermelon song works. Yes, it worked. The watermelon. The watermelon. Anywhere, anywhere the watermelon is, let it come. It's the fear. See for the watermelon, you got no good. The watermelon. That's how we do That's how we give thanks. That's how we give thanks. That's how we give thanks. See here. Watermelon for your table and for your stomach. The watermelon. For your table and stomach. The watermelon. The watermelon. The watermelon. She said your favorite. You are the melon. Let me capture Wow. Thank you so much. My brother. Long live. May the strength of the Almighty continue to continue to give you that law of production. Yeah. Love productivity. Because you gotta have the good hands for yes. it. The green finger, they call it the yes, green finger. Yes. We will bring more and more youth, young people to come and inherit this. Ooh, well, I'll take them at this time, we have to go and show Sister Jessica. Put her on the heights, make sure you look at the view geographically, right around the surrounding outskirts of Pinnacle. Right? And also, lead her to the plat, the heritage plat there you know what I mean, so at this time we're asking ones and ones to join us let us take these steps, go up there on the top there we have to go around, so those steps are a bit alright, yes, alright, go with this hey, 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 figgy little man hey, come in, what's the melon? hey, come in huh? Here we are, almost at the top of Pinnacle, the 
we're going to take Jessica to the heights of heights and see the vision of our leader, Brother Leonard Percival. The journey continues. <laughs> Anta! Rastafari! Alright, then first Jessica, your right pinnacle is right behind you. If you, take, if you turn around, you can see the flag. That's the tabernacle. So this backdrop would be beautiful. Turn back around and I want you to address the Jamaican people and this rich heritage that so rightfully belongs to them, as was built by Lady Pignon. My people, our people, people of the land, the land of Jamaica, the Caribbean islands, the most beautiful land that has got so much a rich history, the great history of our heroes and heroines. Today, it's a great honor for me to be part of this rich heritage. Right here on the pinnacle that was founded by Leonard, the great leader of the Rastafari religion. Actually, not just a religion, a revocrat who took from the great Marcus Garvey, the prophet. We salute the courage and confidence of our great leader. This is your place. This place is supposed to be all over the world in the eyes of our people because their souls are hungry. They are hungry to connect to their divinity. This is one of the greatest places in the world, the pinnacle, where you see the most beautiful view of the mountains of Jamaica, right around towards the seas and the ocean, the building, everything that is Jamaica. When you are standing right on the pinnacle, you get the most beautiful view. Not just the most beautiful view, but a healing view, a journey beyond the horizon. Open up Jamaica. Inclusive economy is, will be the intervention that can change the lives of the people and add more value to tourism, community tourism, heritage tourism, because we are who we are because of our identity. We are identified by our heritage. Therefore, let's take ownership of this right, rightful place and keep on developing. We just had most beautiful afternoon delicious lunch. All things organic and natural right from this land. We need this place to have the models of development in agriculture. We need to learn more about the herbs around here, the trees, the fruit, the natural vegetation. That is the healing to us and to the whole world. This land needs all of us to be united with a positive vision that can be able to change the lives of our people. Jamaica, Jamaica. Jamaica, the land we love. Amanda. Amanda. Amanda.
just a minute, hold, yeah, hold the camera right here. I want, to, I want to pin on an African. These, is, these are the only African Africa we have out here. Mm. And these, produ these products is from Prophet Greg. Wow. So we cherish it. Mm. So the, at, this, at this time, this is our Africa. This is a show, a symbol that we know what we are doing. Because we carve it out. Mm. Baby. Until we reach there. Give thanks. Baby. Baby. Africa, no Zalawama Africa! Africa no Zalawam Zontundu! Africa no Zalawam Lisela no Tinja na we Africa! Zi figure is Kalam na Zinga Zizaku Sakusa! Zizanta na Zaku Saku! Young Shita Bengulu ya Kabanga Umane Yalandula! A putuza na mapetango pipita ma senior pute papa mekalum pali! Wasuga wa pepeta! Eba kunu kushagla shaki sama no konya! Kota waila simbo ya kongo poya! Bebe kutofa, tofa, bebe nyetela, bebe visa ngen kanto si mshaba mnyama mshaba koko Masima nshaza, masima kumleyo, aku nyiswa kukusinga, nepo ngola ma Afrika Mosha! Kunike ma Afrika nditu hutu! Kenga inyame yako yoku meli nyani iso, nenzo ndele alo yoku kinu zinzo lue Afrika Kumaka lagu lo mshaba na lama kienchiko lite ne silivere, inka simlo ya spinge na kuti hai! Tomelo <laughs> My name is Wong Kumalo from South Africa. Uh, I'm here in, ja in Jamaica for four years. I'm working with the South African High Commission. Jehelistika is my sister from South Africa. And we are happy to be here. Thank you very much. And my brother, you can say something. Sorry? Yes, I'll be here for four years. We came here uh, in December 2016. So that means we'll go back to South Africa in 2020. Yes. So I will be with you guys. My husband. This is my husband. <laughs> very quiet, but he's gonna. He's very quiet, but he's gonna say something for the camera. Yes. In in English and in your language. Oh, my name is Kongani. Jessica is our sister. We're here in Jamaica for Yeah, we're here to come here in Senegal. Yeah. In South African language, your language now, so you can understand. <laughs> and these are the kids. Yeah. Yes. These are your kids. Don't so leave them out. Yeah. In the language. So she was born in Jamaica. Almost. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> She's a Jamaican African. <laughs> Give it to us in the language now, please. I was like Jamaica. This is when I'm young. I was like Jamaica. So I was like Jamaica. So I couldn't buy any dowry. I'm a rasta. So I'm a cool boy. So Jamaica. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm a cool boy. What were you saying? Eh, come to Ngwalo. Um, they they are coming from the royal family. Yes, Okumalo, come to Ngwalo. Biological. Oh yeah. Mama. Ah. Yeah. So we respect them a lot. They are the people that are one of the ones of the people who are carrying the heritage. So Usbongile, uh, uh, we do have Usbongile Kuman in in their family, who is an opera singer. 
actually wow. only to find out uh, she's a cultural uh, activist and uh, I follow uh, um, on her footsteps because uh, my music it's not a, it's, it has not been about just music and I was uh, amazed about the voices that would always come within me through the technique that I had uh, of music until I associate I got associations with the great Sbongi Kumalo and um, she has never made me to feel inferior. She is uh, in the caliber of the great Miriam Makebas. And uh, she took me under her wing. And uh, she is the one who, who gave a confidence in me that uh, we need to serve the peoples. We are the voices that need to serve the peoples. We need to convey messages from our divine ancestors. So um, she really instilled a sense of pride and confidence in me so that I should be I should just be myself and go all out there. And after coming from the uh, dungeons in uh, Seminole, Seminomo, I dropped her a, an inbox on Facebook, greeting, greeting her, greeting her, uh, telling her about my experience. Um, I didn't do much, but my spirit just said I must salute to her because it's her muse that really gave an endorsement in me because in South Africa when you're a musician they always tell you that you're a musician so why do you have to act like you've got spirit spirits of Sangoma why do you act like you, you are a preacher now why do you, they always cage you the system is always mm -hmm. caging us but when we have role models like her uh, um, and uh, right now I'm I'm under the shadow of the wings of her family through this ancestral uh, family it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a powerhouse in my life. It shows that I'm on the right track. I'm doing Confidence. something right. Yeah. Confidence. So our relationship is, uh, is divine. Mm. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. We are at the pinnacle of pinnacle. Mm. Uh, a place that was founded by a great, great black human being, Leonard P. Owl. And of course, Jessica was thrilled to be invited by Maxine Stowe, chairperson from the Millennium Council, Prophet Greg, and the rest of the brothers from uh, Pinnacle. It is indeed an honor for me to be here with royalty. Can you imagine on the shores of Jamaica, we have our own royalty? It is indeed an honor. And I know for those of you out here, as Sister Jessica says and Sister Maxine, we want tourism to start here. Come and see how it all started for Rastafari. Come and see this great, beautiful place of Pinnacle. Sixth Maxine, the final words. Yes. Yeah, well, I will also echo your invitation that the place is natural and you, we can start now. It's history. Nothing should even be touched <laughs> because this is actually like the pyramids. You know, those um, historic places that nobody fixes up. You just come and you get the information. And Brother Constant is planting all the food. So you'll be, as Sister Jessica said, Empress Jessica, she was well fed. So we're inviting everyone to come up to Pinnacle. And again, you know, I give thanks to Brother Big Stone, Claude Sinclair, for being the channeler of this opportunity to um, be here with Empress and her royal family that is looking after us here in Jamaica, working at the South Africa High Commission. So it's just been a joy, real joy. <laughs> so say one, so say all of us. Then the daughter um, give us a nice pumpkin song. <laughs> and a nice melon song. <laughs> <laughs> right, we have to rock to this and clap to this one. You know. If Jessica is going to sing a one piece, you know, you have one of those spiritual things like when you hear the drumming and people be chanting where everybody can be a part of, even if they don't understand the language. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
thanks for what for the beginning here and maybe the ending will be many more acres give thanks my brother africa mba namni na lanti ubona yo kama zolwa nte ya yalusala na hai yipika kwinta kanta kuli zoni phela yini na madoda hai Is it a tough one till in the Rocky Valley? Inye bibi njaja mbe kaka mle yo ngabe ne skocheni ka pakati kwa malwalwa kusini na? Hai! It's the pinnacle! Right in the land, in the beautiful islands of Jamaica! Osha! The first residential land occupied by the Rastafari! Mililwana ba ibasila madoda kwakhoma ikhulu waye xaxa indlu kakhoko namhla kuthi bene lityala nyengane nesikhonda somga bala hlamba ula vutha Africa vutha tekham tekham deng Right. 